Peace and love creatives. How satisfying was that intro? That's what you get when you have a quiet house and you're actually able to paint at the same time, like where everything aligns in the world and it's like perfect. So you're welcome. And thank you world for perfectly aligning so that I can make a really good intro. <laughs> Um, all seriousness, um, I had so much fun with, uh, the idea of Art Nouveau and the planning and execution. I, I don't know. I fell into like a little whirlwind of, uh, experimentation, I guess with this art style and um while i was looking at while i was looking at some reference pictures on various websites um i noticed that there was a trend of you know pretty ladies handsome men wording even cats and i'm like I should do a dog <laughs> i don't know i'm like i didn't see any dogs in any references that i was looking at i was like i'm doing a dog and that's why there's a dog in the picture um the dog is being very curious and playing with a branch that he came upon or she came upon and yeah <laughs> that's what i did uh, on the bottom, it says Dog Nouveau. I think that's one thing that I would actually like to go back and change. If I can just reverse time a little bit, I think I would do that. I would um, put that finish that I put on the other uh, areas before I laid the green down for the lines. It became a problem, but it's also you know occupational hazard with the way i work my brain i tried to plan ahead i did but sometimes you just want to jump in and for me it's like most of the times i just want to jump in and paint i just want to feel it and and go with the flow kind of thing you know so Planning is difficult. I'm trying to get better though because it does really really help to plan your colors out and um, Know which direction you want your piece to go in so I do need to work on that But for this one, it was just um, I made a swatch sheet and on my swatch sheet these two colors um, They touched each other and they just did this beautiful thing and if you see in the circle where the dog is, the green and that, that, uh, I forgot the name of that. It's a gray of some sort. Hold on a second. Beige gray. That green and beige gray, shadow green is the name. They just blend together and just, oh, just, it was so beautiful and I enjoyed what they were doing together that I just let it happen. Like I purposefully wanted my piece in the center to look like that. I just, I don't know, it's what I wanted it to look like and it just, it, it, I love it. Um, I didn't know exactly, I had an idea what I wanted to do as far as like the lines that I put in were concerned but I I don't know I was kind of hesitant and then I thought I was gonna just go in with like a jelly roll gel pen kind of thing and I'm like no <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stick with these style paints so I went into my superior paints and um, swatched a couple of different ones and came up with uh, the yellow gold from that line which I think it's it's really good. I like it. The line work on this piece took a very long time, but it was so satisfying to just clean up the edges with the lines, the black lines. That was very fun to do. 
and it just it made the image pop a little more uh, I kind of might go back into the bottom part where it says Dog Nouveau and uh, maybe I don't know I, I feel like it's there's too much going on and you don't see it saying Dog Nouveau so I'm thinking maybe just putting a little bit extra gold on the lettering to pop it out I'm not sure yet to be honest with you and the final piece does not show it because I really do not know if I want to you know do that or not okay so this is my finished illustration for using the Art Nouveau watercolors I did use my superior um, gold paints because I just it was calling to me so I did use that and there's no rule in the books that says I can't use it so <laughs> that's what I did I, I think it definitely um, pushed this piece out I don't know I really like it it's beautiful it came out really good um, I planned on doing multiple um, illustrations because I'm having so much with not only um, the paint, obviously, but with the um, with the art style. So I don't know if I will record all of them, but I do have other illustrations at the ready. Um, you can let me know if you want this kind of art again uh, video. I. I'll just put a camera while I do the, the painting process, but I'll show you um, this one here, and it was done on Arches watercolor paper. Um, this illustration was done with that same um, Paul Rubens glitter paper, and I just, I mean, you can see the glitter. I don't know if it's showing up on video, but it's this is perfect i love the way this came out i love it i do i really do so i have that one illustration i have another one but that one i did in my couch sketchbook and i'm contemplating transferring it to a piece of watercolor paper and uh painting it not sure yet um I'll see if you guys are interested in more of this. If not, I mean, that's fine. I might do it anyway, but um, I might even venture out of the Art Nouveau watercolors and go into some other colors and just, I don't know. I know I didn't use all the colors in the palette, but I mean, you can't, not in one painting anyway. So um, I just wanna go over colors that came in the Art Nouveau set and I never said the names of the colors here so I'm going to do that now. <laughs> um, this is saffron yellow. This is gold, uh, green gold, flax beige, echo beige, pale pink, coral pink, potter's pink, vermilion, alizarin crimson, mo mauve taupe, uh, taupe Old Mauve, Grayish Blue, Cobalt Turquoise Light, Pale Aqua, Cobalt Green, Billard Green, Shadow Green, Pea Green, Ivy Green, Green Gray, Beige Gray, Yellow Brown, Mars Yellow, Venetian Red. The colors that I used for this piece was uh, number 303, Mauve Taupe, number 506, Shadow Green, number 406, Beige Gray, and for the Superior, I used one, two, three, four, the fourth one in, and this one is called Yellow Gold. This one might be my favorite was my favorite for this piece I left a link 
uh, to this um, paint in another video of mine. I will leave a link again for this uh, watercolor set. It's a link that uh, is from AliExpress. I'll try to find it on um, Amazon maybe, but that's where I got this. I got it at um, AliExpress. So that's the link that I will provide. And then um, I can also provide this link. This is on Amazon. I just want to thank you for watching and staying to the very end. And um, oh, I didn't show you this. I'm going to show you this now. This is my swatch of all the colors. And I've been on and off making little um, little scenes with them or something to that note. So there's a dog, an alligator, a bird biting the dog's ear, a monkey with a mohawk, a gorilla with a mohawk. I don't know what that is. That's a little chicken eating something off of the thing that I don't know what it is. This is a bear. It looks like they're in peril. This is a bear howling at a moon. <laughs> this is another gorilla. This is a very, very fat turkey. This is a dog with a very big coat running from, I don't know what, maybe the seal that's oversized. This is a worm centipede kind of thing. I don't know. These are two cats. This one is like, yo, what's your problem? This one's like, er, get away from me, man. There's a pig and then I didn't do anything else. It's just the way my brain works sometimes when I see little blobs and it's fun to do. So yeah, did that. Okay, thanks for watching. Peace and love.